Oh my gosh, they think it's huh? I don't know where they think it's our girl. This is an issue whereby there was a, allegedly a claim that some girls were being mistreated and that they were being tied up in clubs without uh, permission and uh, they were not willing and that they were being trafficked. Officers uh, from CID came, went to Shama Bar, Shama Bar and they arrested uh, the owners of the Shama Bar and they arrested also the 10 girls who were there. Three girls are Indian nationals who have already, when they saw this kind of pressure, decided to go back home. They had no complaint. The, the case has been filed, they're supposed to be the witnesses, but they've already left. The Indian High Commission has even confirmed that. Seven girls are Nepalese girls. These girls have got permits, the permits are proper. Even the investigating officer in court admitted that they, they have a, a proper working permits and where they're supposed to work. The allegation was that these girls are being mistreated and are being locked in. But these officers again contradict themselves when they say that these girls were found where they were working, which meant they were not being locked anywhere if they was in a house uh, or in a house. These girls then were kept in custody for actually five days without being produced. Five days passed. When they were brought to court, they were brought to court after five days. The court then uh, uh, listened to the application whereby they wanted to hold the, the suspect. No, we, we cannot even call them suspects. The girls for another uh, four days. The court refused. The court gave a ruling today. And the ruling was very simple. That if these people are not suspects, if these people have not been arrested, if these people are not criminals, then there is no right for them to be held. And in any case, there was no case. So therefore, there was no need for witness protection because witness protection is for a purpose of a case. So since there was no case filed in relation to these girls, the moment we came out of court with the girls to leave, we were then confronted by police CID officers who were in court, who acted under impunity. And what did they do? They locked us in. As you can see, we are inside the premises. We are not out. The officers blocked the gates. They locked the girls inside. I tried to plead with them. I have recordings and clips of what they were doing. They then now went and called some other officers, reinforcement. They brought four officers to arrest seven girls. When the court had declared that these people had no offense, when the court had declared that these people needed to be set free, why were the policemen arresting them if they are not suspects? I spoke to the inspector general himself. The inspector general, Mr. Boynet, I spoke to him on phone and he, can know, he agrees that. I told him that this was impunity. I told him we have been locked in. And until this moment, he has done nothing yet. He was telling me oh, I'm giving him long, long paragraphs. Long paragraphs on rights of people. They can be even pages. They can be even textbooks. But if rights of persons are being infringed, it does not matter whether it's a paragraph or one word. My name is Zeba Deen. I'm the daughter of Shamadin and Javedin who are right now at Niali Police Station arrested for a, for a false case that, is, that they've stated is human trafficking. If it was human trafficking, the girls, we had their contracts, we had their visas, we had their work permits and the girls agreed in the court that they want to stay with us and they don't want to stay with the, with the police. They want to continue working. Wait, let, let her finish and then I speak. They want to continue working with us but these police officers, they as soon as the magistrate said that uh, they are released, we came out and these guys appealed to the high court and they didn't let us go. We were locked over here. We are locked over here from four o'clock and they're not letting us go anywhere. They've right now they've come, they've forced the girls brutally, they've they've brutally acted with the girls and they've taken them. We don't know where the girls have gone. We need your help because we don't know where the girls have gone. They've not spoken to their family. And they've come on our responsibility.